Today on Race Spirits and Gear, we check out the Axiom guitar and bass plugin from Blue Cat Audio. Now, a few months ago, I showed you guys uh, a really cool plugin from Blue Cat Audio called the Destructor. Now, that was more of a saturation based plugin that could be morphed and modeled into all sorts of things, including a really, really nice um, high gain guitar amp plugin, but could also be used for bass synths and stuff like that. You could really deep dive with that plugin and mess with the waveform, so on and so forth. But today, we are going to talk about the Axiom. Now the Axiom builds on what the Destructor was and is more of a guitar centric plugin with dual signal pass, tuner, pre-effects, post-effects, VST loader, and all sorts of goodies, which we will get into in a minute. But first, I'm feeling kind of sing-songy. Let's do a tune. <laughs> So now that we got that out of the way, I thought I would bring up Axiom and we would kind of go over it a little bit. I have a section, an isolated guitar track from the song you just heard uh, in a loop. And here is the patch that I had made called Fluff's Chugs, of course. And it sounds like this. <laughs> okay, good crunchy, rock tone. Uh, the axiom really starts in the upper left hand corner. You have your input and your input section you can do a lot with. You can add a gate like I did. So we can show the editor. Um, you can add up to four effects. Um, this is a VST loader and we'll get to this in a second, but notice all of these sections in the post effects and the pre effects, you can also load VST plugins. It doesn't have to be all within the Axiom plugin. If I wanted to add, for example, a FabFilter EQ, I can do that right within Axiom. And it is part of the plugin. I am not taking up additional uh, plugin slots in my DAW. I thought that was really, really cool. And I can't say I've ever seen another plugin that allows you to do this, but I digress. The input section, we have plugin loaders, four slots. We have a guitar tuner that if I click on it, obviously my guitar is not plugged into it right now, but there is a guitar tuner, so I'm gonna turn that back off. We have an input trim, which is very handy for bass, um, extended range guitars, high output pickups, and so on and so forth. Now, at the top, this is something that I think really sets the Axiom apart from other guitar amp sims, is the ability uh, to mix two different signal paths. Now you notice on this entire thing, there's a commonality with the pre effects, the amp and the post effects. And in this particular instance, they say pre effects A, amp A and post effects A, which means there's a B and we can mix between two different signal paths. Now right now my B is off and I'm going to click on B and there's my new signal path. I am now on the B side. I'm gonna turn it on and I can simulate whatever I want, right? Whatever amp I want. Now I'm just gonna pick something at random and play the loop and I'll show you how you can blend two different sounds. 
Now, this is gonna be probably a, a clean tone, but my point remains. I'm gonna click back over to A. Now, right now, my mix knob is all the way on A, so we're gonna hear 100% A, and I'm going to blend it in with the B, uh, the B amp. Now, if I really wanted to take the time to really fine tune this, I would dial in another high gain tone, probably um, with the gain backed off, and I would layer it in. But I didn't really feel the need to do that because the tone that I got was exactly what I wanted. It was crunchy, it's, it's, you know, it's a really nice rock tone. It's not crazy high gain, but it's crunchy, and that's what I wanted. So, I have loaded um, a boost in my signal chain for A. Uh, this is a built-in Axiom um, plugin. This is just a, a cr the, the Crunch Booster, which I found to be quite tube screamery. That's all I had, and I had it going into the heavy and loud amp. Notice I have the gain all the way down. It's quite the high gain amp, so I just really backed that off. And now in my post effects down here, I added a compressor. Now this is the stock compressor, but if I wanted to use another kind of compressor, I could just go ahead and load a VST and we'll go we'll go Fab Filter Pro MB. And this is my multi-band compressor right in Axiom. I think that's really, really cool. And I can just turn it off if I want. I can also turn off the other comp. There's a reverb here that I was messing with. But I'm gonna turn the comp back on. And now we're gonna go over to the master output section. Again, like with the input, we have four different slots. Now these are all VST loaders. I can load any VST. Um, let's see, let's get my thing over. Um, we could do, if we wanted to, oh geez, I don't know. Finality light. We'll do some finality, right? We'll add um, an LA-3A style compressor to Axiom, right within Axiom. That's so sick. Axiom is a pretty original plugin. I can't say I have ever seen a guitar amp sim that lets you load other VSTs within it. This is like a, a Lego set, a Sonic Lego set for which you can just build your own guitar tone. And if, and if you wanna to switch to that, you just go over to channel B within Axiom and build, build a whole nother uh, guitar chain. I thought that was really, really great. And for $1.99, uh, that can't really be beat. That is really, really incredible. Tuner, I mean, everything. This is very compact, very light. And I would also like to point out it is not CPU intensive, so. Yeah, I appreciate that as well, because I'm a guy who likes to use six uh, guitar amp sim plugins at a time. So that kind of thing is really, really important. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.